Now AIM, this is a model which explains the accommodation of the lenses in the human eye. So the materials required to perform this experiment are, uh, this is a soldering iron in order to solder the plastic. This is the plastic. It has to be thick and transparent one. You need a syringe specifically and the needle attached to the circular plastic. And then you need a matchbox and a candle. And specifically, a cardboard. And now, the procedure and the demonstration to do this experiment. You have to cut two circular pieces, approximately 5 cm in diameter of plastic, and solder the edges in this manner. At one end, you have to put the needle of the syringe and fill it up with certain amount of water. It has to be placed behind the model of the eye and behind the hole that's in the eye. Now this hole represents the pupil in this experiment. And consecutively, this biconvex lens which we have prepared should be placed in front of this screen, circular screen, which represents the retina of the eye. When this particular candle is held in front of this pupil, you will get a clear-cut inverted image of the flames. But when the same candle is taken a little back, you, the image size decreases, its clarity decreases. So, in order to make this proper, we are going to suck some part of the water from this plastic in order to thin it. Now, when we keep this particular candle at some distance far away than the previous distance, now we see a clear-cut image of the flame here. When we bring it near, we see a blurred but an enlarged image. So this tells us of the accommodation of the lenses that takes place within the eye. Now, the discussion and the research that has been taken place this is how the accommodation takes place in the eye. Accommodation is the way how the eye changes its optical power in order to, fo in order to focus the object on the retina. Human lens contains a certain elastic crystalline protein which changes the shape of the lens when needed with the help of the ciliary muscles attached to it. The young human eye can change focus from infinity to a distance of 7 centimeters within 350 milli milliseconds. For an old person, he cannot focus the image that is near his eyes to the retina because the image is formed behind the retina. Generally, this phenomenon is called as hypermetropia. There is another phenomenon called as myopia which is common among the youngsters also. In this case, the youngsters cannot focus the object which is far away at a distance on the retina and the image is formed just in front of the screen. This phenomena is specifically called as myopia and glasses or lenses are given in order to correct this error.